Okay, for this video, we are going to unbox, set up, test, and review this laser engraver from Creality with model number CB01. Like other devices and gadgets, the first thing you will find when you unbox it is the manual. If you have no idea on how to do laser engraving or 3D printing or whatsoever, I highly suggest you read the manual. Very important, it has all the precautions, instructions on how to use this item. Next thing you will see is a sealed plastic of all the different materials that you can use with this laser engraver. Also, we'll be seeing the sealed plastic containing all of the accessories we need for this laser engraver. And then this box contains a power adapter. And also, part of this package is you will see the protective goggles. You will be needing this. So if you're going to calibrate the laser engraver or you just want to stare at it while it's working, you have to use this protective goggles. If not, you will put strain on your eyes. And then we will be seeing the assembly of the laser engraver machine itself. The X-axis assembly and the Y-axis assembly. Okay, setup for this is really easy. You just need to horizontally place the X-axis assembly above the Y-axis assembly. Then align the holes to the projected screws underneath, then lower it gently horizontally onto the Y-axis assembly. Then put the four knurled nuts with color and tighten them clockwise. Okay, then after that, next thing we have to do is the wiring. Do not be nervous for this one because it's really easy. First you have to do is to connect the Y-axis stepper motor. Actually, it has two stepper motors. This is for the X-axis and this is for the Y-axis. This one, the X-axis stepper motor is already connected. The wire is already connected but for the Y-axis, we just need to connect it, this part. Okay, after connecting the Y-axis stepper motor, flip it. And then underneath, you will see the stepper motor and then you have to connect the wire for this one. This one is labeled X. Because this is the stepper motor for the X-axis. So that means if the actual laser hits this one, the limit switch, it will stop there. Y, and then if you're looking where is the Y-axis uh, limit switch, you can find it here. Uh, and then this one, I almost forgot. There's a cable here tagged as Z. So you just have to connect it here. Because this one is for the laser itself. Okay, so we're done with the setup of the machine. We're done with the wirings. Next thing we have to do now is we head over to our computer and install the program that we are going to use for making the G-code for this laser engraver. Open the folder named Software in the flash drive, then double-click the installer named Creality Laser. Then just click Next until you click on the Install button. After installing, search for Creality Laser in the program files. Then right-click, then click Run as Administrator. When Creality Laser program loads, click on the Open button on the upper left corner. Then search for your logo or image that you want to be engraved. For my case, it's my channel's logo. After that, the image will show up. In the upper left corner, there are three options, outline, grayscale, and black and white. This depends on what you want, but for this sample, I'm choosing black and white. Then you may resize the image and you can also change its positioning. When you're done, click Export G-Code on the upper left corner, then save the G-Code to your flash drive. That's it. Okay, and before we proceed, I would like to give a big, huge shout-out 
to the sponsor of this video, Maker Lab Electronics. Actually, I'm a huge fan of Maker Lab Electronics. I have two Creality printers. First is the Ender 3 version 2, and the other one is the Creality CR6 SE. Both of them I bought from Maker Labs, and actually, all of the filaments I've been using, I bought them all from Maker Lab Electronics. And Maker Lab Electronics is one of the official distributor of Creality. So if you're interested with this laser engraver or you're looking for 3D printers, I highly recommend you check out Maker Lab Electronics. Okay, and next thing we have to do now is go back to our machine, get the material that we are going to use. For this example, I'll be using this board and then get this black paper. This is the focusing paper. We are going to put this on top of the material that we are going to engrave too. So we put the memory card here and then plug it in, turn on the machine, and then after turning on the machine, the laser module will go to home. It's like the zero zero axis. Okay, after that, we press the function button. After the first press of the function button, the laser engraver will move and it will show you the work path. Then put on your protective goggles. Under the laser engraver module is an adjustment knob. So you rotate the adjustment knob clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust the spot size. When the light spot on the focusing paper is the smallest, the adjustment is complete. So after that, just remove the focusing paper. So press the function button and let the engraving start. Okay, the output is really detailed. I really like it. What I really like with this one, it's really portable, it's really small. You don't need a big area to place the engraver. It's just, it's around uh, 16 and a half inches. And then the Y, let's put it around 14 inches. And that's the only spot that you need for this laser engraver so you don't need big location you don't need a big spot in your workshop or your office for this one because it's just that's one and this one is capable of engraving up to 200 to 170 millimeters all right so what else can i say for this one if you're just going to put logos on your works like what i did here so this is really perfect for you this is actually not bad it's really detailed it's really great for branding. And I'm not going to engrave big, big materials. Um, 200 by 170 is really enough for me. Okay, so if you're interested with this machine or you want to buy one, you want to give someone this engraver, I'll put the link in the description below where you can get it. I'll also put the link of Maker Lab Electronics, their official distributor for Creality products, also for this laser engraver. You can message them for any questions or if you want to buy one, okay? So I guess that's it. Let's put this here. So I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye. This is really awesome.